first two weeks? Well, the, that, uh, the intensity of uh, the training uh, is very high, uh, very, di very disciplined. Uh, you know, of course, I ask from them you know, to, to be intensity high, but do they really uh, do it? Uh, also, the quality, uh, I think, is quite high. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not surprising, but, uh, you know, it's, it's really fun to watch, you know, the intensity of the, of the training from all the players. So, uh, they make my life difficult, you know, and that's good as a, as a coach, you know, that uh, you have to make tough decisions. And it's no problem for me, but uh, personally, wise it, it's always sometimes uh, difficult because, you know, everybody does uh, give them all. You know, and do the best, and then uh, yeah, you have to sometimes disappoint uh, players. You know, not now, but right in, in the future, of course. You said that you were just making tweaks mostly to what the team had already been doing. Yeah. How much of that have you been able to put in? And so, no, uh, you know, first, uh, of course, we, we asked the players, of course, what kind of uh, you know, system or what, uh, yeah, a little bit of the identity of the team. And, just a little things, you know. We started really first about the defense, you know. I think if, if, if we are defensively standing well, you know, that's the first start to attack. And, uh, and that we put a lot of energy in the first two weeks, and now in the third week, we are already, you know, getting some uh, patterns of, uh, of the attacking uh, situation that we want. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I think they are quick learners and also what I said, you know, in, in discipline and yeah, that makes it uh, for a coach uh, life easy. You have uh, four friendlies uh, lined yeah. up in California. Yeah. Um, what is going to be your approach? What are your goals? Uh, no, yeah, you, of course, uh, you know, you, you play against uh, bigger opponents and of course now you always play against, you know, the other uh, players of the, of the squad. And then you want to see can they also execute it uh, against another team, uh, different qualities. Uh, yeah, really uh, want to see hey, how far are we now? You know, in this uh, preseason, and uh, I'm really looking forward how we uh, play against those kind of teams. You've only been here for two weeks, and you've already helped Almiron get a record-setting transfer yeah, to Newcastle. Yeah, that's, uh, no, <laughs> that's all. I already said it uh, to the group. You know, it's a compliment to the group mm -hmm. because uh, it's, of course, it's fantastic for uh, Miguel, but it's also great for the MLS. It's, it's great for Atlanta United. It's, it's great also for you because uh, because of you, uh, he could excellate in, in this uh, league because. Uh, yeah, you made it possible for him to be a, a star, and uh, yeah, that's a big compliment for you also. So uh, I said congratulations for you. Of course, you know now we we're gonna miss him. That's for sure, as a person, but also the quality that he showed for the MLS. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, somebody else has to stand up uh, right now to fill up his place, and I think uh, we have confidence that. Uh, we uh, will have that in our uh, squad, so uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great for the MLS because you know it's you know it's a little bit like Holland that you have uh, you know it's it's a good league to, to step into you know what right now are the biggest league of uh, of Europe and that's it's Premier League, that's uh, La Liga, Serie A, and all the other German league, the Bundesliga. So, and yeah, I think we can be proud uh, of that. And uh, so, young players will come here to make the first uh, steps to uh, hopefully a fantastic career. Is it accurate to say that it seems likely either Barco or Martinez might slide into Almiron's role, or do you have someone uh, else? Well, we anticipated, of course, to buy uh, Gonzalo Martinez for, for that role, and he showed that he is. Uh, characteristics you know mm -hmm. a little bit similar uh, not of course they are totally different persons and also characters so still he has to who show that but he, he proved that he's a quality player and if you can already at that age you know uh, do that in, in the Argentine uh, league I have confidence he can also show that and Barco you know is progressing every uh, week better uh, he had of course a false start with injuries uh, mm -hmm. last season so He's still very young, and but he has an amazing quality. So, yeah, I think those two, you know, uh, have to fill that gap. We have Tito, who can 
you know, he's a very experienced player. And you have youngsters like uh, Carlton, uh, Dion that we signed, but also in those positions who can, you know, hopefully uh, make a tribute to, to the team. Uh, there was a report in which you were quoted uh, about LGP to, to Boca that you said he was uh, basically, we, we can't transfer him. He's too invaluable. I was curious if that quote was accurate and if the sentiment is about accurate. about Leandro. Oh, oh Leandro, okay. Yes, so I, I, LGP just for sure. No, uh, <laughs> we, we know, uh, of course, that. Uh, you know, when you win titles, there will always be, you know, like uh, positive attention to the, to the club. And that means also sometimes that is then negative for us that, you know, uh, they pull uh, to our players. And, you know, Leandro is, of course, he did a fantastic job last season, also the year before uh, the Land United. And yeah, he's very important for us, you know, so we w also want to look to ourselves and, okay, yeah, uh, we have a replacement for uh, for Almiron, but not for uh, Leandro. So yeah, we don't have already that many uh, central defenders, and especially the type that he is. You know, he's a different type than uh, uh, Par uh, Parkers. You know, he's really you know yeah, the, the, the killer, and Parkers is more you know what the style that I had uh, in my day. So and I was yeah. Ja ja uh, we had Jaap Stam, you know, in my days, it's Leandro, and we have uh, <coughs> like me. So, you know, you not need those qualities in, in the back, and he's, uh, he's crucial for that. So, uh, yeah, we don't want to let him go. Yeah, no one's confusing Parkhurst and Jaap Stam. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, for, sure. for a whole yeah. lot of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> you discussed youth development during your opening presser. I want to get your early impressions of uh, Miles Robinson and George Bello, <laughs> guys who have come up through the United 2 system. Yeah. And you're, I see them getting a lot of first team minutes now with potentially starting 11. Yeah, they, you know, they're doing great. You know, it's uh, unbelievable. If you see just Bello, I think the 18 of... 17. 17. Yeah, but the 18 of this um, uh, January, I don't know which uh, date it was, when his birthday was, but it was just a few weeks ago, yeah. and it's, it's unbelievable that uh, he's just still 17. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's fun, you know, fantastic to see, you know, how he's developing, and uh, he can, you know, come along with the, the quality players. And, and it's same with Miles. Uh, you know, he has that quality, you know, he's very athletic and he knows exactly what his qualities are. And I think that's when you understand that, you have already made a big step for yourself. And uh, so I'm really happy uh, with them, you know, how they uh, acting right now in training. But also, uh, like Carlton, uh, he's also still very young. All those youngsters like Anderson uh, we, from the draft and uh, Amir, they're doing really, really great. And uh, yeah, it's really fun to watch those uh, youngsters, you know, to adapt to uh, the first team. And yeah, I think they can be very useful for, uh, for us uh, this year. Is center back a position you'd like to see strengthened because there are reports of a player arriving at some point here soon? Yeah, of course. Uh, we do. We don't really have a left centre back, you know, uh, left feeder. Of course, Leandro does really both the two feet very well. And uh, but if something happened with him, you know, uh, you have to always anticipate them some, some kind of situation. So we're really looking, you know, for those players because uh, if you play with three in the backs, for example, uh, you need at least one more. Yes. Okay. Last thing for me, how do you handle a transfer day? At least it is for, for England, I think, most of Europe. You've been on both sides of it as a, a coach and as a player. Just how do guys handle that? Is this, do you just not talk finances with them, kind of let guys be to themselves on a, course, a trade deadline like this? Uh, you have to also protect uh, yourself, but also United and also the team, because you cannot uh, let all your good players go. On, you, know, you go, because you have also uh, goals to for this season, so for this year, so if you want to execute those uh, goals, you have to have a proper team, of course, who can uh, reach those goals. And uh, like Almiron, okay, you know, when a, a club is good structured, you know, okay, this is the next <coughs> step. They always are one or two steps uh, ahead. And it was like uh, we, we already had contact with Gonzalo because we knew already almost for sure that. Uh, Almiron will will go. So yeah. So with, uh, for example, with uh, Leandro, yeah, we don't have a solution right now. So he has to stay. And uh, 
So and if there's communication between uh, the staff and, and the Carlos, uh, you know, sports director and like the president, uh, Darren Hill, it's good. You know, there's no problem at all. Uh, do you have any injury updates? Is Franco progressing on his? No, yeah, he, he, of course, the first two weeks are crucial. So you know, he has to, cannot do crazy things. And but after that, he can, you know. Uh, especially he can run then or that kind of thing so he doesn't lose that many physical uh, abilities and uh, for the rest uh, everybody looks uh, quite fit. Jeff is healthy? Jeff yeah he had a small uh, thing uh, two days ago but it's really really small and okay. he's also he has a proper age right now so <laughs> you know, all these sometimes you have to step out a little bit and they know exactly you know when to step in when you step right. out they have so much experience just want to make sure perfect